Welcome guys, welcome back to All Football 90 and welcome back to another news today. Now of course Monday morning we had the games at the weekend, some interesting results. Uh, but today we're going to be primarily focused on Frank Lampard and his job. Is his job in danger? That is of course the major, major question that we're going to ask you guys, the audience. And I would love to know your thoughts and opinion. Leave them in the comment section down below guys. If you're new to this channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Give it a massive thumbs up and also turn on your notification as well we do live stream of watch long of any any premier league games to be honest um so yeah do join us on watch longs that we do um there will be of course one on wednesday between united and city in the league cup uh, semi-final so that's going to be an interesting game so please do stick around for that one uh when it does come we'll put the reminder very soon um on this channel anyways we're going to talk about of course frank lampard and is his job in danger of course for the past couple of results the five games of Chelsea hasn't been one of the greatest it started off with Arsenal losing to Arsenal 3-1 um, then came Everton losing 1-0 then came Wolves Aston Villa was a draw and then of course yesterday we saw a, a very shambolic and disastrous of a performance from Chelsea Football Club against Man City where they were beaten 3-1 um, so, you know, of course, a lot of question has been raised uh, against Frank Lampard. Is he the right man to sort of lead Chelsea to the next um, next season, of course, uh, uh, end of the season as well? Can Frank Lampard get something out of this squad? Can Frank Lampard secure top four and possibly go far in the Champions League and, of course, uh, the FA Cup as well? They have been crashed out from uh, League Cup uh, by Tottenham, so... You know, that was, of course, a difficult uh, pill to swallow for a lot of Chelsea fans. Now, as a Chelsea fan myself as well, I will, of course, give you my thought and opinion on this um, towards the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, this is the question that has been in everyone, every Chelsea fan's lips. And to be honest, a lot of football, the football world is talking about Frank Lampard and is his job in danger. Of course, um, there's a lot of uh, reports coming out from... Uh, reliable Twitter handlers and of course uh, reliable media outlets as well suggesting that Frank Lampard could I mean Frank Lampard's uh, days um, as a Chelsea manager has is pretty much numbered and you know it, if you look at the history of Chelsea Football Club in terms of the managers they have had and how they were sacked you can I mean there is uh, some sort of a trend there's some sort of a pattern uh, we have seen over the years you know we've seen the likes of uh, Jose Mourinho been sad, Carlo Ancelotti, Rafa Benitez, Roberto Di Matteo, Jose Mourinho, Mourinho second time, Antonio Conte as well. When things go really south, Chelsea Football Club, or shall I say Robin Abramovich, tends to pull the trigger. Um, this Could this be the same thing for Frank Lampard as well? Could uh, you know Robin Abramovich and the Chelsea board pull the trigger on Frank Lampard? Of course, you know, a lot of things is... is, is is going on this you know Chelsea have spent huge amount of money over the summer you know spent 250 million pounds on the likes of Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, Ben Chirvel, Hakim Ziyech um, and other other you know talents that they have brought from Europe to sort of you know make them into a team to be in the Premier League however that hasn't been the case this season you know they have had ups and down um, results Especially in the past, uh, in the last uh, five games, I thought I thought the start of the season for Chelsea has been really good. They went, I think, sixteen or fifteen games unbeaten, uh, and then after the Arsenal game, I think that's when they started to have some sort of uh, um, downwards results. And some of the results and some of the performance were very questionable. Of course, as a Chelsea fan, I do, of course, take uh, defeats, uh, you know, by the chin. You know, of course, if 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 we are beaten convincingly and if we are outclassed by opposition like the Everton game I was um, uh, not really happy with the performance but I thought Everton were just much 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 better even the Villa game as well I thought Villa were much much better as well they deserved to win however we got a draw out of that uh, but there's certain games that I don't accept defeats like the Man City game yesterday which where the player has showed no passion no fight no desire nothing there was nothing in that game and as a Chelsea fan it was quite frustrating to watch a group of players who has been 
you know labeled as one of the best players in Europe and to perform and to you know show that yesterday was quite a, you know difficult um, difficult thing to see as as a Chelsea fan and of course it's going to be very difficult for Frank Lampard as well and I'm assuming that's going to be saying for uh, Roman Abramovich as well who spent a huge amount of money on on um, sort of re-ramping the Chelsea squad and to be eighth right now. Um, far away from City and Liverpool and of course Manchester United as well who's joined top with Liverpool it must be difficult for Roman and the Chelsea board as well uh, anyways we're gonna of course dive into the the article that has been reporting this now I just chose one but pretty much all the articles has been um, saying the same thing as well but I chose one uh, and this is the one this is what the headline is reporting uh, this morning uh, is Chelsea lineup experience replacement for Frank Lampard says Club Mole. Um, they are of course looking at Chelsea will look to appoint experience uh, Allegri if they decide to cut their loss with Frank Lampard claims the detailed report. Um, I'm not sure about Allegri to be honest as a Chelsea fan. I'm not really sure if Allegri is the man. Of course, he's an experienced manager. He just, uh, you know, manage um, Juventus or uh, help them win the league as well. So. I get that he's an experienced manager and if Chelsea do go for Allegri then I think that's a step backwards because he's not the manager. Yes, he plays um, uh, a football that wins you trophies and wins you league but that's not what we want. I think Chelsea are looking for a manager that can stabilise, that can you know dominate uh, the English Premier League just like Liverpool and City. Um, so I don't think Allegri is the sort of a man that will take us uh, to the next level. However, let's just, of course, continue reading what they say. Uh, the Athletic, according to the Athletic, uh, Lampard's job is now under serious threat after a defeat to City. Now, they are, of course, very reliable. I do, of course, uh, subscribe to them as well. And some of the things that they, they publish are uh, something to consider and, of course, um, you know, take note as well but you know i always say you know whatever you, whatever you read take it with a pinch of salt because you know there is also uh, other side uh, other side of the story as well and now court offside claims to have obtained exclusive ex interesting where they've got the exclusive from uh offside claims uh, frank lampard's first season in charge exceeded expectation but it's still chelsea and 200 million plus on players unfamiliar with the temperament associated with the premier league especially in the current climate brings immediate pressure on already pressurized job uh combine this with the lack of game time experience and pressure playing in the first team uh from the academy lads unfortunately unfortunately compound Frank's position this uh, the report also criticizes some of Frank Lampard's decision as well and I think rightly so as well I think um, I think that's very right to criticize Frank Lampard's uh, decision making as well especially in the Arsenal game that really uh, really annoyed me as a Chelsea fan as well when we were whipping in 34 crosses or something like that and we didn't have a um, we didn't have Giroud on. Giroud is a sort of a guy that tends to get a goal from uh, crosses and he's really good. When it comes to the aerial threat, he's really, really good. And the fact that Frank did not use him and use Tammy, who was constantly going over and constantly falling down, it didn't really help us. I think I'm gonna. I think Frank Lampard. I think Frank Lampard deserves till the end of the season. Um, and of course, then make. Uh, your decision as to if you're Frank in or Frank out and of course I don't think we need to even say that because the Chelsea board will make that decision for us um, but yeah I, I think Frank does deserve um, till the end of the season I would say till the end of the season however if things go really really bad for us where we are in the other half of the Premier League table then I think of course the decision will be made uh, will be made to um, you know get rid of Frank Lampard and of course this does this this is a break for for football for Premier League right now um, there isn't any Premier League game till I guess the 12th or the 15th of January so there is some sort of a two weeks break who knows Chelsea might pull the trigger in those two weeks get a new manager in start you know uh, start getting things rolling uh, but who knows, you know, we just have to wait and see what happens in the next couple of days. Um, but this is, of course, a very interesting debate that we can have in the comment section. So please do leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to this channel, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, take care.